If you're looking for a little DIY inspiration on bringing back an old piece of furniture to life, you clicked on the right video. My name is Garrett, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I flipped this piece of furniture I got from Facebook Marketplace for six bucks, and I turned it into 45 bucks. So if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe down below for more videos just like this. If you're new to furniture flipping or you're just looking to refinish a piece of furniture that you have around your house and you're looking for some paint, I highly, highly recommend to make a trip out to your nearest Lowe's or Home Depot store, doesn't matter, and go to their paint section. Each one of these stores has a section where they accidentally mix up the wrong paint and then the original customer ends up not purchasing that paint and then they heavily discount that paint so i first went to home depot and lowe's i went to more than one i'll admit because so i was just so excited to get my hands on some paint and i picked up 10 to 15 um, little pints of paint for 50 cents a pop and then they have uh, quart size paints for two dollars and fifty cents i believe the prices are both for both uh, Lowe's and Home Depot, so that's pretty cool. But if you're looking for some paint, you don't know where to start, definitely make a trip out to your nearest Lowe's and Home Depot store. So now let's talk a little bit about the furniture itself. I got this piece off of Facebook Marketplace for just six bucks. It was about 15, 20 minutes away from my house, so about a 30, 35 minute round trip to go pick up this piece of furniture. And I ended up painting it with this paint called Beyond Paint. And I had actually picked up this paint from Home Depot for 40 or 45 bucks for the 32 ounce container that they give you. What's really cool about this paint is it's self leveling. It's a pretty thick looking paint, really nice color. And there is no stripping required, no priming required. And it's also a sealer. So all three of those things rolled into one. It's a really quick, easy process using this paint and I really like it so far. Another thing that I did to this piece of furniture was I went to Lowe's and I bought these two knobs for it that were 75 cents each. And then I also had to fill in the old holes with some wood putty, sand it down with 150 grit with a block so then it's flat. And then I gave it four or five coats of the Beyond paint. After the piece was all finished, I was able to sell it to a family friend. I paid six bucks for it and then I ended up selling it for $40. So I did make a $34 profit, however, some of that money does go towards the paint that I did purchase for my multiple projects that I've been doing. And then, you know, the two knobs that I got 75 cents each. I want to know what you think of my transformation. If you could comment down below, let me know what you think. It would be very cool to hear some of your guys' thoughts on it. I haven't been doing this overhaul, these flips for uh, very long. So I'm kind of interested in hearing what people think of my pieces. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel, please, if you could. And also give the video a like if you enjoyed it, if you liked it. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch the video and until next time.